Bryce last year, uh, Division II state title. Not, not much else to say about yeah. that. Uh, tell us about that experience of going through the season and then also mm -hmm. winning that, uh, that title. Uh, it was incredible. I mean, finishing the season on Camp Randall with a win over Wanakee, a state powerhouse. Uh, I think they had a 48 game winning streak. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of expectations for them going in the game. Same with us. But uh, we were able to come through. We played really well. Defense stepped up, uh, pitched a shutout, and it was great. Um, for the season, um, you know, we just kept working, building up. We said, you know, the pieces fall together, you know, we could end up in uh, Madison, Camp Randall playing in the big game. And, uh, that's ended up. That's what happened, and you know it was it was a great year. Really excited for next year, though too. Now dropping down to Division Two as opposed to being in Division One, where you guys were for years and years and years. Yeah. Was that something you guys talked about during the year, or knew was even a possibility, or well, what was that like? Not really. I mean, we knew like going into the playoffs, we were going to be on the edge a little bit between you know which teams fall, which teams make the playoffs, and that kind of you know I think there's 32 teams in each division. That kind of depended on that. I think we were the first or second biggest team in Division Two. So, but. I mean, throughout the season, not really. I mean, wherever they put us, we had to play, and so that's what happened. All right, and as we look towards 2013, what can we expect out of the out of the Highlanders, and what are some things to, to watch for? Um, you know, we're, we're young. We have uh, we don't have a lot of guys returning this year, but I mean that's okay. We have our our old line will be they'll have experience. I think we started uh, two or three sophomores last year, so they'll be back. Um, Defensive wise, we lost you know a couple couple big players, a couple guys going off to college to play, so we'll have to fill those holes. But uh, I mean, the expectations at Homestead never change. I mean, always you know a conference championship, and then the goal after that is always a state championship. So we're shooting for that every year. And one of those guys that you lost was in the defensive backfield, Riley Pelisic, yep. um, going to play at Penn. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what is that going to mean for your role, and, and what are you going to have to do to have a successful season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, it's big for me because we're on the four-four defense in Homestead uh, the majority of the time. But then uh, against passing teams, we'll drop back to the four-three, and I'll actually play safety back there with Riley. And I'm real good friends with Riley; he's one of my great friends, and um, I'm excited for him. But it's going to be kind of tough losing him. He he was a great leader. Had really, you know, he. had so much experience back there, it just really helped me out. So uh, with the loss of Riley, you know, I'm going to have to step up and take the leadership role back there. I'm not sure if Coach Ralk, our defensive coordinator, is going to end up playing me at safety or outside linebacker. But, uh, I mean, wherever he puts me, I'm going to play and I'm going to be excited. And, you know, a lot of expectations and it's going to be a good year. And as you head to your senior season, are you looking at playing football in college? And where are you at in that process? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my goal is to play college football. And right now, I um, just have a couple uh, schools looking at me from the MAC and Big Ten mostly.